Hi, here is one more lecture about functions and this one is in a more practical view uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, save that uh, we're going to look at the program that we built in the previous lecture sorry, in the previous section uh, so this simple program uh, note that uh, these are not the real life applications that this course covers so these are just small snippets of code. Don't confuse this with the, with the real-life applications. We'll cover 10 real-world applications later in the course. Uh, so, in this program, what this did was it asked you for the age. Uh, let me guess. Uh, that's not exactly my age, but anyway. Uh, 90, so this will print out your age plus 40 so 90 in this case and what I want to do in this lecture is I want to organize this code better uh, by putting this inside a function so this will help you understand functions how they are used in a more real-life situation so the function basically had three components and that was the input the body of the function, so the operations that the function performs, and then the output. So in this case, we are going to somehow get the input from this user prompt, and then this will be the a body of our function, and then we will output this one in here, the new age variable. So let's go ahead and define a function here. Define age um, foo let's keep it like that and uh, we're going to get some age input there and that there goes this line so the new age will be equal to the input that the function will pass in here so uh, we convert that input to a float and then we and then we add 50 to that and then we return new age so once you have defined a blueprint so to say once you have defined your function then you want to prompt the user for a value so that you have a value ready there to pass it to the function call later here uh, which will be like uh, print age foo age goes there now don't confuse this age variable with this one here they just happen to be the same but these are not the same because this is a local variable well this one in here is a local uh, global variable sorry a global variable local variable so what happened is uh, when python executes this script it goes line by line so it reads the first line second third and it knows it it's sort of records in the memory this kind of blueprint but anyway this is just a blueprint so it will not output anything and then it goes to the next line this is empty okay go to the next line h equals to input we have an input function which creates a user prompt so it prompts the user this message and then the user submitted uh, submits a value and that value is stored in uh, the h variable so, so this is a global variable it doesn't have to do with this one here and then what happens is we call the function hfoo and inside that function we pass the value stored in this h global variable so let's say uh, the user passed 40 40 will be passed in here so 40 here which means this 40 will be passed to this age argument so to this variable so the local variable now will get a value of 40 and that value will be put in here so float 40 plus 50 equals to 90 and that will return 90 and so that 90 will replace this thing in here and python will print 90.0 in the command prompt in the terminal here let me try that enter age 40 
And yes, basically that's how you integrate user input with functions. That's about this lecture. I'll talk to you later.